The super clean cyberpunk mask needs another modification. Unscrew these two bolts and the bottom chin pops out. This is what I'm thinking. We have a mask, right? It's very mechanical. We need something organic. It needs a mean mandible. All I have to do is make it and attach it here. Yesterday, I downloaded Plasticity. It's a direct modeling CAD software. This piece is very important. I 3D printed it on the A1. It's a spacer. This will give me a little bit of clearance for the jaw to hook on. It's a little wedge that gives me a flat front. I use my phone to 3D scan the mask. Eh, f it, I can use it. In Blender, I'll create the template for the mandible. I just needed to clear the face shield. That's why I use a 3D scan. I gotta spend $40 on a 3D scanning spray. And it helps a lot that I 3D scanned it with that little wedge I printed before. I use a Boolean function to create the four millimeter holes. And I'm trying to use up all the Sun Lube black PLA that I have. There's a recall on this printer. I'm not even supposed to be showing it. Whoops, it's upside down, it's flipping around. I bought a kit with very various lengths of the hex bolts. The ones that came with the mask are too short. I just made this template so I can make sure everything fits just right. Magnificent, the first attempt worked. This mask is really cheap, it's less than a Big Mac meal is pinned on my profile. Save the template to the cloud, import it to Nomad Sculpt on the iPad, duplicate a bunch of spheres to follow the line of the template, use the move tool to shape the teeth, we'll vary up the sizes, make this fang very prominent, flatten and widen the back teeth, invert crease to add a sharp edge, with the regular crease tool, I'll give that a little cut. If you're a beginner in Nomad, I got a bunch of tutorials in my tutorials playlist. Mirror duplicate the teeth. Give it some gum so it can get periodontal disease. And the gums should be hugging the teeth. In case you're wondering, I'm running this on my M2 iPad Pro with 16 gigabytes of RAM. Give it some bone structure at the ends. I'm excited. This is going to really offset the design of the mask. I guess to become a monster, you got to go through a lot of trauma. So let's give this thing high blood pressure. Just think about your average Karen. Their gums are probably vascular like this because of all the stress. Eventually, I want to print this in carbon fiber, but for prototype's sake, I'll just print it in the Sunlu PLA. In two hours, we got a fully functional prototype. It's getting late. I'm getting tired. I hope the algorithm brings you back. I'll put it together tomorrow.